Hey guys, I'm Justin and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about an email that Google recently sent us that broke down exactly what you need to do to optimize your Google business profile so that it can show up in more search results across Google search and Google maps. So I'm not going to waste any time. Let's just jump right in it. What this email says is exactly step by step what you need to do to optimize your Google profile to rank higher in local search results. They're not even hiding it anymore. They're telling you exactly what you need to do. And the first thing that their product manager, Mike, says is that you need to make sure that your Google profile accurately represents your business, includes a link to your website, your booking or ordering tools, your menus, and your social media. So what they're saying is they want you to link to all of your different websites and social media so they can get a better understanding of your business. And we've known for a long time that Google cross-references your business's information across different search platforms, and this is confirming that. Down here, they say how local ranking works. So gone is the mystery. Now what they're saying is that relevance is an important thing. Uh, the distance from how far the searcher is uh, to your business matters, which we've always known, as well as the prominence of your business. And so prominence, what they're saying is you need to build up your online reputation by getting more reviews and get more people mentioning your business across the web. So the one thing that you can control is the reviews. Make sure that you're getting tons and tons of reviews. And if you can, try to get your customers to mention you more online, because the more times that Google can see your name or your website being mentioned online, the more authority they're going to give your business. If you keep scrolling down, we can see that they then talk about how you can elevate your Google business profile ranking by adding attributes. And uh, I'll show you in a little bit how you can go and do all of these things. It doesn't cost anything. It's all just completely free for business owners. And the things that they want to know about your business are like, do you offer Wi-Fi? Do you have restrooms? What's the parking situation like? Do you have an outdoor patio? Uh, what services do you offer like delivery? Um, and what's the atmosphere like? Are you pet friendly? Uh, and then also your DEIA attributes. Uh, so you can put in things about uh, the type of person that owns the business. Um, and then they're also talking about um, how to handle negative reviews. And this is something we've been saying for years, which is that it's okay to get bad reviews. You just need to reply to it in a very friendly and helpful way. Do not get angry at the person's angry at you. Instead, come at it from a way that, uh, that will solve their problem. Okay, so let's now dive in to a profile and show you how you can add each of these items uh, just in a couple of minutes uh, so that you can optimize your profile according to what Google is telling us here. Okay, so here we are in the Google Business Profile admin area. The way that you get here is by searching for your business's name, or you can go to business.google.com and select the business if you manage many of them. Uh, and I'm going to walk you through every single area that they just mentioned in that email so that you know exactly how to optimize your profile. So what I want to do first is say edit profile and make sure that uh, you have at least two categories. So we have our primary as a marketing agency, but really we're a software company uh, or we do internet marketing service. And I'll show you in a little bit uh, why that is. Make sure that your description has all of your keywords and mentions the things that are most important to your business. Make sure that you have your website here. Uh, and that it's accurate. We see a lot of business owners that haven't updated their website in years, and it's actually going to the wrong website or to the wrong page on their site. The next is your social media plat uh, profile. So what they want to do is get a full understanding of who you are and everything you do online. And so what you need to do if you find any gaps are say, add social profile and pick the profile that you want to add. I'll say Facebook. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste in our Facebook business pages URL here and say save. Next, make sure that your pin is in the right spot. We see this often where pins are actually not located where the business is, which throws off those local searches and makes it harder for people to get found. If you have a service area, meaning your service area business, and you travel to your customers, make sure that your service area is set to um, where you can drive to from end to end in under 45 minutes. If you set it to larger than that, you're probably not going to rank. Some people make the mistake of trying to rank everywhere and instead they rank nowhere. So Google really wants this to be local specific. So if you have the whole state of Florida in there, reduce it down to maybe just Fort Lauderdale or Miami, 
Tampa or wherever you're actually located. Make sure your hours are correct. Uh, and then here you can see you can add additional types of hours based on your type of business. So maybe you have brunch hours, they want to know about it. Maybe there are hours that you do delivery, let them know. Uh, this is where they said you can add those uh, those other attributes, like is this an Asian-owned business, Black-owned, disabled-owned, and so on. So make sure to fill out any of these that you feel comfortable filling out. And this is where amenities are. And so uh, here, these are going to vary based on the business. Um, we don't have restrooms here, so I'm just going to say save. You can add information about uh, about the crowd. And then here, service options. And again, every single business type will have different, um, different options here. And so what you want to do is just fill out to the best of your ability as many of these as you can just to give Google a complete picture of your business because it's going to help them then show you two more people. Um, Okay, so that's the basic information. The next thing that I want to do is dive into the services. And so we find that businesses that um, that have at least 30 services on their profile tend to rank higher. And you want to have every little thing that you do here. So for example, we put the service small business marketing, and then here we put in a description of that service. And then we just went down the list of everything that we do. We create a service for it and we wrote a description. And this can take some time. And we have a tool called Profile Pro, which can help you with this, as well as one called Page, which completely automates everything that I'm showing you here in just like two minutes. But I'll, I'll get there in a bit. Um, so anyway, fill out all of your services, make sure that you have your booking links added. So basically what you want to do, if you allow people to do online bookings, uh, or buy things online, make sure that you have added those links here because Google wants people to be able to tr transact. And the way they can do that is by, uh, pushing people to a booking link or a purchasing link that you give them. Okay. The next area that you can go to, to optimize your profile are the images. So here you want to upload as many images as you can. And uh, you know we're a marketing software company, so we don't have many real images of our office. Um, but let's say you're a restaurant, what you should do is upload as many pictures as you can of your food items, your restaurant from the inside, the outside, the parking lot. Give Google as much information as you possibly can so they can show it to the right people at the right time to try to get you more customers. Google wants to give you more customers. You just have to empower them to do it. Okay, next is make sure you're replying to all of your reviews. You can add products if your business uh, offers some kind of product, and you can also go and add questions and answer them. So you can see here that there is a question asked on our profile, like, can your Google review service help my business get more five-star reviews? And what's really cool about this is that Google no longer shows who asked the question, whereas before they would say the owner asked this if you were the one that asked it. But you can see they don't say who, a who asked the question, but they do say who answered it. So you're able to ask questions on your profile and then answer them just to educate Google more and more about what you do so they can show you to more and more people. Lastly, in this section is you can go and do Google business posts. These are kind of like social media updates, um, but specifically for your Google business profile. And so I know that in the last eight minutes, I talked about a lot of different things that you can do to optimize your profile, but Google really does just walk you right through it step-by-step. Step. Just click on these buttons and make sure that you've filled it out completely. But if you're looking for a way that can just completely automate this for you so that you don't even need to worry, what you can do is sign up for a page account. It's only a dollar for a three-day trial, and it just takes about 30 seconds to optimize your profile entirely. And if you're not sure if you even need optimization, then you can click this audit your GBP button up in the top right corner. Uh, and this will tell you exactly what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong so that you know where to spend your time. Uh, and then you can spend the dollar to have this tool just optimize it for you. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, please like the video, hit the subscribe button so that we know to keep making more videos about how to optimize your Google business profile so that you can get your small business in front of more local customers. Thanks so much.